it deals with stocks, and I'm going to give you guys a little insight on um, how, as a retail investor, I've done well and how I pick stocks when I'm kind of watching the marketplace shaking the tea leaves. One thing that a lot of smart people do in the stock market, and if you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his link is in the video description. A lot of people watch options and they watch what institutional investors are investing in because it helps them feel as though they're getting a leg up in what's going to be blowing up in the coming weeks or maybe long term. I also do that, but I do it with ETFs. My portfolio is heavy tech, heavy future stocks, heavy future growth stocks. And the one that I follow is this one right here. It's the ART ETF. And that young lady right there, Kathy Woods, is the CEO of ART ETF. They do innovative tech, and they've got three different ETFs. Now, look, look at who she puts as associates of hers. There's two brothers on her associate board team. Now, if you all have ever seen the show Billions, think of it like that. You've got a CEO, and then you've got a lot of people on the computers clicking the numbers, and that's how our ETF is. But what they do, ladies and gentlemen, and let me show you the graphic from um, Robin Hood. This is the ETF today, 112. This is what the ETF was five years ago. And you see that a 429% jump. And if you look at three months ago, it made a 20% jump. Now, I said all those things to say, our ETF sends out a list every single day. These are one of the very few companies that sends out their daily list of buys and sales. I follow them because when I'm breaking down data and I'm looking at numbers to try to do my swing trading, I come in here and when they email me what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, I hop in here and I see what they're buying and what they're selling. And I would encourage everybody who's watching this video, sign up for their email list, see what they're buying, what they're selling, and see if you can incorporate that into your business model, into your trading model. And if you ever see something on this list that they have bought twice in one day with any of their ETFs, that is probably something you might want to buy for swinging or long-term hold. So just an example for today, they bought Shopify. And if you go over to the right, the thing that they bought the most, Taiwan Semi, they bought 532,000 shares, which tells me that's a hot buy. That's something you might want to buy and sit on for a little while. So Larry, do you have anything on their list that they bought or sold today? Uh, no, actually, I don't. But I'm looking have, at some of this. You I'm looking at some of this, and I see some of the stuff that they've sold. It's interesting. It looks like they sold Slack, which I I've been hearing quite a bit because they're merging with uh, which call it. Man, uh, they they're merging with um Salesforce, man. And I bought them Monday, got out of them yesterday, and made one hundred and fifty dollars. And then got back into them because they made the formal announcement today and the stock went down. Mm. And I didn't read my I didn't I didn't read their email list yesterday. And if I would have read it, I would have stayed out because the email list yesterday, they wind up selling Slack twice yesterday. And now they're selling it a third day. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like they're buying workhorse, which is interesting. Yeah, they've been because they've been They've had a little dip, so maybe they're just doing exactly. some bargain hunting. Yeah, they, they, they are doing some bargain hunting on tech. But ladies and gentlemen, that is an excellent way to maybe not make the big money if you're a day trader, and that's not something I really do. I do swinging and long-term investing in options. But if you're looking for an edge and you want to follow a company where I just showed you the ETF and I just showed you their growth in five years, Follow some of what they're doing, and it can, might help you make you a little bit of money. On the yeah, you might have to send me that info so I can sign up for that list, man. I like that. That's that's I didn't know about that. It's interesting. Definitely, man. And Kathy Woods was the person. This young lady said two years ago, and everybody laughed at her, Larry. She mm -hmm. said within three years, Tesla would hit $1,000 a share. They laughed her ass out the room. They be trying to hate on this woman 
But as you've seen, she has grown her ETF in the last five years, 429%. That's crazy. That's some serious growth right there. Unbelievable. Follow them, people. 